is that Meghan Markle and her endless, shall we say, mistruths, lies, whatever you want to call them, have really misfired in many respects. But what's really interesting is, even when it was pointed out to the former royal known as Prince Harry, seemingly he only believed one version of events. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. Whatever you're doing today, I know I say this, but do keep safe, do keep well. And thank you for your lovely comments about, uh, of course, the brilliant Sir David Jason. You know, the uh, You've Got to Laugh video. It's true, you've got to laugh. <laughs> you truly do have to laugh through life. But it's strange, isn't it? You know, how if you reach a certain age in this life now, you know, TV bosses seemingly want to just get rid of you because, oh, you know, people don't want to watch that. The show, which has been cancelled, still open all hours, outstrips every other comedy bar Mrs. Brown's Boys. And yet the BBC that you pay for, well, no, they don't want to continue to make such wholesome, fun comedy. What a shame, but thank you as ever truly for watching. Now, back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. This story, you know, very strange because when you look at it and uh, you think about Prince Harry, clearly, you know, when he first met Meghan Markle, as he would be, he was completely besotted, you know, couldn't believe his look. As he openly said on that famous tour around the United Kingdom, somebody said, you've done well for yourself and you've done well for yourself as a ginger. Yes, you remember that comment? And he said, absolutely. There's no doubt about it that Meghan Markle did bring for a very short period a sparkling sort of look to the British monarchy. She seemed to be glamorous, very well, sort of self-assured, very good looking girl. And of course, came with what a lot of people now realize baggage. But of course, nobody knew that then, did they? But what was interesting to note in that recent interview with Prince Harry, if you remember, he sat down and regaled uh, the story about how, you know, he was questioned, do you think Meghan knew anything about the British monarchy? And he said no, you know, in fact, she hadn't Googled him. Uh, you know, she didn't know anything about the monarchy itself. Well, now, as we've now seen, what's interesting is pictures have emerged of her being very good friends with uh, the Duke of York's daughter. And, you know, it's incredible to think that you wouldn't say, well, what about your family? Where do they come from? And then, of course, her ongoing vlog, The Tig, in which she detailed all about life as a princess as the forthcoming wedding at that time of the Princess of Wales and, of course, the Prince of Wales now, or then, should I say, Prince William and Catherine. So clearly she knew a lot about the British monarchy. But what's interesting now is that during a particular conversation, and this was clearly, and as ever we have to say allegedly, left out of the book, it was highlighted to him by a very senior source, and many might say his elder brother, Prince William, that she clearly did know a lot about the British monarchy because someone had passed on that information to him. And according to that good source, apparently he shared that with Harry, but Harry seemingly didn't want to believe it, just said, well, it could be anything, you know. Now, according to another source, basically, Meghan apparently said, well, although the vlog, the TIG, whatever you call it, was hers, at points, certain elements were written on her behalf because she was incredibly busy making the cable TV show Suits. So you see how this has panned out. The bottom line, <laughs> the bottom line is, of course, well, it may have gone up on the vlog, but I'm not necessarily saying I wrote everything. I possibly would have dictated it, said something, and perhaps that ghostwriter could have embellished it. So you can see both sides of the coin. Prince Harry clearly wishing to believe one version, while, of course, allegedly Prince William bringing out the glaringly obvious but seemingly cannot get through to his younger brother. Even though this pattern has emerged and is now in the public domain, it does appear that this is the version that the former royal known as Prince Harry wishes to stick with. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.